the home of cricket and the venue for season four of Nigeria Cricket Federation Women's T20 Invitational Tournament. This is day four, match eight, Nigeria versus Syria alone. Take two of this encounter. My name is Olua Shewajidagba. I have here with me the captain of the Nigerian side, Blessing Etim. Returning captain of the Syria Alonian side, Fatmata Parkinson. The tournament referee, Tonye Timinadi. And the third umpire for today, Veronica Irio. We set for the toss of the coin. L is the call. And L of it. Congratulations. Head have it. Zainab Kamara, Fatmata Parkinson. Great to have you back in the squad. You won the toss. What do you want to do? Going to bat. Lillian Ude makes it into the team again. Samson Rachel. And Syria alone. We have Fatma Parkinson, Alice Fili. Down. And Pekula Igboya starting the bowling. Yeah, bowling the second ball. Taps that one straight to that third man region. All the way for four. Syria with a bowling. She's also very fearless, not afraid to take on the responsibility in the middle when she wants to bat. Edge. Lovely catch, Emmanuel. Did you I said. Langan and fine leg in place. Oh, what a way to start, Emmanuel. Lillian in the attack. She goes behind the batter with the ball in the chase to adjust the line there. I should ditch just that appeal and it's gone for the next couple of overs. Appeal, appeal. for LBW, you must take can cost you your entire life on the mm. ground. Lovely shot there. What a way to start. Would that be raced all the way to the boundary? Two fielders miss. back on the pitch and play resume. Shall lie into the attack. Full toss converted. It's gonna go over her head. It's definitely she misjudged that ball way above. The waist level. And she goes down the ground with that race all the way. Oh, good fielding there by Peculiar. To pick up one wicket. Ah, drop catch there. That was a chance. Racing down the boundary. Good. Uh, Ghana from the 8th of March. That will raise for a four. Effort. Building. It's building slowly but surely. Skies it up in the air. Uncomfortably taken. As preparations going into that major, major event. And also to. T bold, bold. Bold. Taking the bills off. Oh, Cut and ball there. You see it's a ball as, it's a bowling, it's a batter's paradise, you know, where you get to score runs. Oh, Plays played. That. Oh. oh, she's and cutting it to the gap. And we it's have four runs. That that together and do the right thing. Last ball of the 20th over. She's thrown what up can we make it. at it? And it's a wicket. And uh, that's another catch into the. Match summary there. Sierra Lone winning the toss, up into bat first. Annie Mari is just doing the basic, like we know in bowling. Just pulling it on the line, plays it down the V. This is definitely go all the way to the boundary for four. But I think it's sensible for her. Short, caught and bold. Something we can win comfortably. And she's up. up in the air. Good intense, good start. That should raise up. winning probability in favor of Sierra Leone. Oh, lovely play there. Open the face of the bat, guiding that ball straight down to that third man. Healthy outside Aja beats the fielder at short third. Uh, the chase is on. She chips in the dive, but it goes in vain. Female Greens are uh, the defending champions. It's something uh, to me. It's a big positive. Loud appeal there. And guess what? She got her groove back yesterday that massive win against Steam Randa and this time round she balls it full Lillian Ude who was unplayable in her quarter 
But for now, it is, uh, of course, sir, uh, Zainab, who, who is going to change in the way she bowls. 72 for 3 after 11.2. Loud appear there, and the finger is up straight away. There you go, short ball there. Cut away powerfully. Of course, uh, Rwanda back at the hotel. They'll be eating themselves uh, in the air this time round. Uh, straight to the field, a uh, shot hitting the winning rounds. Can this be yet another moment for her? And that is the moment Bob was talking about. He was just fitting enough that she had a 100% strike rate. Nigeria winning by five wickets, replicating what happened yesterday, where they also defeated Rwanda by five wickets. And so for Team Sri alone, the search for a first big four matches, 1-3, lost one, half six points, 0 0.625 net run rate.